Hey guys, welcome back, it's Sarah. Today I wanna to show you guys the makeup I did for my passport picture. I recently posted on Instagram and a lot of y'all seem to like the makeup I did. I did spend a lot of time on it. The reason why I really wanted to go hard on this passport photo, cause I've just had so many ugly ones that I'm just, I'm done suffering. I want to just look good. So as someone who has a lot of unfortunate passport pictures that I'm not going to show here on this video, I just want to show you guys how you can avoid looking ashy when you're taking a passport photo. And there are a lot of things that I don't usually do for my everyday makeup and it's not really so much about the products as it is about switching up the technique. Oh, and before I get into like the actual look, here's a tip. It's technically legal to bring your own lighting all right let me tie my hair up so the first step is primer now before we start i am the most preachy person on youtube about sunscreen but on this one day you really need to make sure your sunscreen doesn't have a white cast i recommend the milani prime and protect spf 30 primer i ran out of mine so i'm just going to use the pat mcgrath primer because i'm not actually going out but if you are just make sure you don't have a sunscreen with a white cast because that's going to fuck the whole picture up also if my face gets a little bit red while I'm applying makeup, that has been happening because I recently fostered a cat and I just accepted that I'm actually allergic to cats. That's not gonna stop me from having animals, but that's just something that I have to deal with. When I put on makeup or my skincare, my face turns a little red for a short amount of time, but I am willing to make the sacrifice. Now for foundation, I'm gonna use the Fenty Beauty Hydrating Foundation as always. There's really not much of a change in the foundation routine. However, if you usually like to go light and don't like a cakey look, it doesn't matter. No matter how cakey your makeup is, the camera is not going to be able to pick it up if it's a photo ID. So literally, if you have to apply 10 layers of foundation to cover something, just go ahead. While I'm blending this in, I want to give you guys another tip. When you take the passport photo, you have to look straight directly into the camera. So the symmetry of your face is going to be the main focus of the picture. You can't do angles. Like I take all my selfies like this because I feel like this side is my best side, but you can't do that in your photo ID pictures. So something I wanted to do in my picture is just to make my face look as symmetrical as possible and it's kind of hard to pick up on camera but my face is not naturally symmetrical at all this side is a lot smaller than this side I don't know if you can tell even in the picture itself you can see a slight difference in my jawline so the way that I try to make my face more symmetrical is to do a side part instead of a middle part never ever do a middle part for your photo ID picture because that's going to emphasize asymmetry and if you want to look a little bit more symmetrical you don't have to if you don't care but if you do doing side part and covering the part of your face that is a little bit bigger than the other side is going to make a huge difference I mean I got so many comments saying that my face looked really symmetrical in that picture and I, my face really isn't it's the trickery for my under eyes I'm gonna use the dragon beauty color corrector in dragon fire I'm just gonna dab a little bit right here and the reason why is when you're doing flash photography, it's pretty easy to see through the kind of light layer of concealer that you put on. So you need to make sure the base and your foundation is covering all of the discoloration under your eyes, or at least under my eyes. Just zoom you guys in so you can see. Now I'm using the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Concealer. I feel like taking a passport photo is the time to do that full on, like super heavy concealer look that you see a lot on Instagram because there's no such thing as cake face if the pixels are low. I'm a lot more heavy handed than usual, which is why <laughs> my face looks white. Okay, now I'm gonna do a little bit of contour. I'm just gonna use my Fenty Beauty Amber Matchsticks like I always do. This is pretty straightforward. I do this when I do my everyday makeup, but one thing is I try to make sure that I can see a little bit of the contour when I'm looking directly in. So I know that face shape that I want is gonna show up on camera when I look straight. I'm gonna go over it with the beauty blender. This is also the time if you have a double chin to just completely hide your double chin. Also, I'm sorry the sun keeps coming in and out. I'm using natural lighting. Next to set my face, I'm going to use the RCMA No Color Powder. This is a really trusted old YouTube favorite. And this is the only powder I trust and have tested that doesn't have flashback. I'm gonna use this and bake under my eyes. I am not usually someone who likes to bake because I have dry skin and it looks really cakey on me. But again, cake doesn't matter when you're doing a passport photo. So I'm literally just highlighting all the areas that I wanna pop out. So if you want your cheeks to pop out, this is a really great time to try doing that under eye 
baking. I also did right here, around the mouth, in the center of my forehead so that those areas pop. And I like to use this method instead of using like a shimmery highlight for these areas because that really doesn't look good on flash photography. You're just gonna look like a disco ball. So while I let this sit for a second, I'm just gonna do my brows. Your brows are really gonna frame your face, so take your time and really shape them how you want them to look. And this is how I like my brows to look. I like a thicker and bolder brow and that's just personal preference really. And then I'm gonna use the Glossy Lash Slick Mascara and I'm just going to set my brows, brush all the hairs in place. Now I'm just gonna dust off all that powder. Baking really looks so good on camera. I feel like that's why professional makeup artists seem to love it and but like regular people like us don't like it because it looks really kicky in real life but on camera it looks so good now for the eyes i think you can't do something crazy for your passport photo anyway but what i like to do is really open the eyes and lift the eyes and you can't see the detail of the eye makeup anyway because nobody's gonna see it up close so what i like to do is just take a little bit of a warm brown and apply this just on top of the crease not in the crease but on top and I'm gonna apply the shade Banter just right here in the outer corners. And it's just gonna be a really neutral look, really just to contour the eyes and lift this area. And then I'm picking up a lighter shade like in the buff, applying this all over the lids. And now I'm just gonna curl my lashes. And I'm going to tight line my upper lash line. I'm just going to blend the tail of the eyeliner out. You can do an even more dramatic one if you want. This is a time when I would highly recommend wearing lashes. If you're not typically a falsies girl, I still would really recommend wearing lashes if you're taking a photo ID picture because when you're taking a picture from so far away, even if you have really long, luscious, beautiful, natural lashes, usually the camera won't be able to pick it up very much. So if you want your lashes to show up, the best way is to just get a pair of falsies and get a pair that you think really flatters your eye shape because your lashes is going to lift your eyes even more than the eyeshadow. And I just applied my lashes. That is the world telling me, fuck you for filming in the living room. <laughs> I'm gonna use this new Pat McGrath Dark Star Mascara. It is a lifting mascara and I'm just gonna use it to blend all the lashes. Nothing crazy. I actually like the old Pat McGrath mascara a little bit more. So I'm gonna use the Fetish Eyes mascara for my bottom lashes. Like that, nothing crazy. For a highlighter, yes, I'm still gonna use highlighter, but I'm not going to apply this all over. I'm only gonna focus the shimmer right here. So you can still see a little bit when you're facing forward, but it's not all over, like you won't look crazy in flash. And I wouldn't do the nose tip just because that would look way too shiny, but I am gonna do the nose bridge. And uh, I'm actually going to use a little bit more contour, shape the nose a little bit more. I'm just applying a little bit of bronzer right here to shorten the nose. For blush, you can really go ham because it takes a lot of blush for it to really show up on camera. So I'm gonna apply this just right here. And I'm looking directly into the camera so I can see that some of the blush is showing. I usually like to do some blush all around here, but not today because it doesn't look as good on camera. For lips, I'm going to use the new e.l.f. Retro Paradise lip liner in the shade. Okay, they did not give me a shade on here. I'll find out though and put it in the description. I really like this lip liner. And I'm gonna use the ColourPop Ultra Blotted Lip in the shade Tattletail. Okay, this usually I would never do when I'm wearing makeup because I never apply foundation on top of powder, but well, actually no, I did that in my last video, but I'm going to put just a little bit, like a third of a pump of foundation on here. And even after just a third of the pump, I might like kind of dab it a little just to make sure it's not too much on there. And then I'm gonna go over everything, the cheeks, the nose, and that is just going to make sure that everything is blended because it can look cakey, but if you have a clear highlight and then blush and then contour, it that will show up on camera. And this is just gonna make sure everything looks face tuned and seamless like that. 
Now I already did this look for my actual photo, but I'm gonna test this out so y'all can see what it looks like on camera. That's it guys, I hope you guys found this useful. If you actually do this makeup look to take your photo ID picture, please tag me. I would love to see it, I hope it all goes well. And yeah, stay home, stay safe. While you're at home, you can watch all of my other videos right here. Yeah, I'll see you next time. Bye, peace.